Anytime you want to measure on wafer S parameters up to microwave frequencies, you will need to calibrate the RF fixture and probes such that S parameter measurements will be referenced to the probe tips. We have millimeter wave heads, probe positioners, and an RF cable that goes to the one millimeter connectors on the infinity probes. All this plumbing needs to be invisible to the measurement. We do this using an impedance standard substrate, or ISS for short. This has known impedance structures like short to ground, 50 ohms, and through lines of various lengths. Our prober station already has one loaded at the upper right corner of the chuck. To visit this location, we set the chuck for a separation height of 300 microns and raise the probes even further so that the probes are guaranteed not to hit anything as they travel to the ISS site. Using the Velox interface, we select Go to ISS. When measuring up at millimeter wave frequencies, the probe placement and even how far you push down on the wafer must be very carefully controlled. To control that, we have special structures that help us set the height such that when we make contact with the substrate, the probe will skate a very precise amount. The infinity probes we are using today work with a very light skate. The probe should be adjusted so that they make contact to the substrate at the apex of the V and then skate to the middle of the V at full contact position. You can see here we came very close, so I will go ahead and set this as the contact height. In order to do automatic probing of the calibration structures, we will need to do a manual alignment of the ISS substrate with respect to the probes. We aligned the crosshairs to the lower left corner of a structure that will repeat across the substrate. In this case, it's the signal trace of a through connection. The instructions say, click to select first alignment point. Make sure the point is located on a horizontal or vertical straight line. So I click right in the middle of the crosshairs and then click Next. Next, the instructions say move the wafer horizontally or vertically along the straight line. Then click on a second point at the straight line. So we scroll to the right and look for a similar structure. We found a short near the right edge of the substrate. So I click on the corresponding lower left corner of the through line and the Velox system makes an adjustment to the alignment. WinCal is a program from Cascade Microtech that facilitates the automatic probing of the ISS structure and makes on-wafer calibration a whole lot easier. After launching the Cascade WinCal software, we click on the System Settings button. Along the top, there are different tabs, VNA, Station, Positioners, Probes, etc. First, we check GPIB connectivity to the PNA at address 16. No problems here. We double check PNA calibration file settings. Once the calibration is complete, it will store the results to the WinCal01 calibration state table. We double check stimulus settings. Here we see that the start frequency, stop frequency, and frequency step are incorrect, so we may read these from the PNA. Next, we verify connectivity between WinCal and the Velox Prober control software, confirming communication. We set the probe settings under the probe tab. We verify the Infinity 110 probes, where probe 2 is configured in the easterly direction and probe 1 is configured in the westerly direction. Under the Standards tab, we point the program to the precise calibration structure being used. We can also tell the software what is our starting position. In this case, we are set to an alignment mark in the middle of the substrate. Then we click the Auto Cal button to initiate the process. The probe station immediately sends us to the through standard. Then we measure the open standard, which is where the probes separate from the substrate. Next, we measure the short standard. And last, we measure the load standard. Once this is done, we confirm the file name for the calibration file to be saved on the network analyzer. Moving over to the validation tab, the software then double checks that S11 and S22 are both reasonable when it's measuring a load. Looks like they are good. And that's it. You just witnessed an automated on-wafer network analyzer calibration to 50 gigahertz. You may check out our other videos in this series for further useful demonstrations, like how to configure Wafer Pro Express with instruments and prober control software, wafer alignment, or Wafer Pro Express project setup.